This episode of Gamerheads is brought to you by Magic Mind, the healthy energy drink that will help you take your creativity to a new level. Hi, I'm Celia Schilling from Yacht Club Games. Hey, this is James from Mega Cat Studios. Hey, this is Matt, a.k.a. Stormageddon, from Reignite, Screen Snark, and the Fun and Games podcast. This is Stephanie from the Boss Rush podcast and the Boss Rush Network. Hey, this, this is Mark, Mark and Keon from Bonta Affold. Hey, this is Sebastian with the ProNerdReport.com and the Single Player Experience podcast. Hi, this is Chris. Mike. And Garrett from Daylight Basement Studio. Hey, this is Baron J67 from Level 1 Gaming. Hey, this is Todd Mitchell from Code Right Play. Salutations. This is Mike Carroll from Stroll Art. Hey, this is Jeff Moonen from Fun and Games Podcast. Hey, this is Patrick from the Backlog Odyssey. Hey, this is Rune from Runic Codes. Hi, this is Andrew from Spalato Bros. Hi, everyone. Jill Grote here from The Indie Informer. Hey, this is Brimstone, and you're listening to Roger Reichardt on the Gamer Heads Podcast. All right, Lewis, the important part is not to cut off Roger when he does the intro because it pisses him off really bad. <laughs> and if you, like, step on his toes during the introduction part, he just shakes his head and makes faces, and then he yells at you throughout the course of the podcast. So don't ever do that. Yeah. Right. The funny part is I actually uh, just cut all out, so it doesn't... It doesn't do really you really? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not this week, Phil. Maybe. You, you wouldn't even know because you don't listen to the podcast. So no, you I don't know. like hearing my own voice. <laughs> Why really the hell would I listen to myself? <laughs> Do you seriously cut it out weekly? We'll see if I cut it out this week. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Man, maybe my entire maybe shtick is not even live. <laughs> well, some of it is, like the rest of it. Like, like all the F words you draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't take those out, that's for sure. I would I would spend hours and hours working on that if I had to do that. You want to do the intro or are we just gonna wing this? No, I'm doing it. Welcome to another episode of the Gamer Heads Podcast. My name is Roger. Along with me this week, I have my good friends and co-host. I have the CEO and president of Gamer Heads. We have Phil. I am so stoked to be here, and I brought my vice president with me this week. <laughs> <laughs> we have the vice president? This is news to me. The vice president. <laughs> You're running mates, if you will. <laughs> Is this something? <laughs> this is what we call a coup d'etat, Roger. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, Lucio, thank you so much for joining us. Lucio, you. you are a streamer, yes. a wrestling god. Well, you know a lot about wrestling. Wow. Like you yes. are, yeah. <laughs> uh, and a video game enthusiast, a nerd, if you will, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 100%, man. Yeah. yeah. 100% wrestling nerd. Love video games. Love wrestling. You know, it's nice. fun stuff, man. You got to, you know, enjoy your life a little bit. Yeah. Well, welcome. Uh, be- yeah, of course. Before we start, though, tell us about yourself. Uh, I know you stream on Friday nights. Yes. Uh, so I'll talk about. Asleep. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> but I don't fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, tell us about yourself. What do you stream? And then I think you guys also have an announcement to make, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I uh, stream on Friday nights. The channel's Friday Night Sticks on Twitch. Two X's, because I'm cool. And, uh, yeah, I'll just play whatever. I like trying out games, like, for the first time on there. Just games I'm curious about. Like, the last time I streamed, I tried Evil West, because I was on Game Ooh. Pass. And I've been curious about that game. So it's like, oh, let's try it out on stream. And it ended up being pretty, I mean, the little bit I played of it, you know, I uh, I did enjoy. Uh, but, yeah, I stream on Fridays, Friday Night Sticks, usually around. and watch SmackDown. About 15 to 30 minutes after SmackDown ends, I'll hop on Twitch and play some games and just, you know, BS with people. Friends, usually, because that just shows up. I'm like the public access of... Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a good place to be, man. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> kind of fill a niche. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Well, I mean, the show is kind of the public access of podcasts. So, hey, there know. we go, man. <laughs> On brand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're big budget, damn it. We're big budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's awesome that you're here. I'm glad that you... I'm glad that you're... Well, you're supposed to... I'm sorry last week didn't work out. I am so sorry that, like, I had to get a later start than I normally wanted to. But I'm glad you're able to connect this week and have you on. And I hope that you have a lot of fun that you can come back awesome. in the future and not, sure. like... <laughs> not yeah, want to come back no no it's good last week i was just it was wait like, coming back well, is optional 
Well, I don't know if you I guess if you're the vice president, I don't know. Maybe it's not optional, actually. <laughs> vice presidents usually hang out in the background. You don't even hear about them. That's but true. I'll, That's I'll, be, true. I'll, be, I'll be the one that kind of knows. I'll be like the Dane Quayle. I'll spell things wrong or something. <laughs> <laughs> Read a book to a kid backwards. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good for that. <laughs> oh, but you guys do have an announcement. And I want you guys to, I mean, this is exciting for me. I'm excited to hear this announcement, unless it's a different announcement than I think it is. But I think it's the announcement. We're pregnant. Oh, Whoa. God. Congratulations. <laughs> that, it was a good Sunday. That poor child. <laughs> Don't get it. That thing's going to be a hairy ass kid. Oh, my God. It's a ball of hair. <laughs> Just lint roll him now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, so myself and Lucy have been talking for a couple of months about starting a wrestling based podcast. And I think we're at the point where we're finally going to get this thing off the ground. We're going to bring our own unique insight and takes to the entire thing, which are probably not all that unique and with minimal insight as well, because we're both a couple of morons in the best possible way. Uh, hopefully if it expands to the point, we're going to get some local indie wrestlers. We're both based here out of Minneapolis area, uh, some local indie wrestlers to do, uh, interviews, as well as provide some reflections on local shows that we go to because I have been working less Saturday night. So Luce and I have had the opportunity to go to a lot more indie shows, which are just the heart and soul of pro wrestling. And for those that don't go out and support your local indie, go out and support your local indie if you enjoy pro wrestling. That's where it all starts. That's where the fun happens. You really get to see the magic work there and you really get to see how talented these people are up close. A hundred percent. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you guys have a name yet or no? I've kind of played around with the Oh My Podcast, <laughs> um, just an homage to Joey Styles, who, in my opinion, mm-hmm. is on the Mount Rushmore of professional wrestling color or commentators, not even color commentators, but play by play guys. And he yeah. did it by himself for the longest time. And he just absolutely killed it. Uh, but we're always flexible. And who knows, something may change by the time okay. we start actually recording. Awesome. But awesome. you will be able to listen to it right here on the Gamerheads Network. I know. Right on the Gamerheads podcast. That's a uh... Go to GamerHeadsPodcast.com. I mean, you can't go out there now. You're not going to find this show right now. But if you it do, will be, you're in the future. Yeah, you're in the future. Or you're listening to this in the future. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, that's exciting. I'm excited. to. I'm, And I hope that I can be a guest at least once on your show. Eh, we'll see. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> If I if I play my cards right, I could be a guest, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lucio, thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited to have you on the show. Thanks, man. I'm glad to be yeah. here, dude. And thank awesome. you. Of course, of course. Uh, so this week we'll talk about games we're currently playing. But before we get into that, I do have an icebreaker. And since you guys are doing a wrestling podcast, I do have to ask. I mean, I think I already know Phil's answer, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, who is your favorite wrestler? Let's do two things. No, no, you don't want to do this. We're doing it. <laughs> oh, we can, we can do it. It's just, it's, oh man. Now I can we, think. We're going to, we're going to do two questions. We're going to do who's your favorite wrestler of all time. And then who is your current favorite wrestler? Ooh, that's what that's <laughs> going to bite me a little bit. What? Start with, start with our guest. Yeah. I'll well, yeah, first. but I'll I, go first. Yeah, I, I'm just surprised that it's going to, okay, I'm surprised, Phil, that that's going to stump you. But yes, Lucio, you are a guest. You go first, please. Yeah, and I completely understand why he's thinking, because I think about this all the time. Like, I think my <laughs> top three pretty much nailed. <laughs> but do like, you, four, in, in like a particular order, do you have them nailed? Yeah, I do. I do. Oh, you lucky. Of all time or of like current or both? Uh, one of them is still a current wrestler. Okay. Like my favorite wrestler of all time is actually a current wrestler. Oh, wow. But, yeah, and you know, like. For the longest time, Macho Man Randy Savage was like my favorite wrestler of all time. Yeah, that's a good pick. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, ROH came around early 2000s. I got into that with Phil, actually. He went to a bunch of shows, you know, hopped in a car, and, you know, hit the road and went to the shows. Anyway, uh, I discovered Daniel, Brian Danielson there. I didn't discover him, but that's oh. where I was introduced to him. And later on became Daniel Bryan, WWE, He's at AEW right now. And that guy's like my top wrestler of all time. Wow. He's just great at wrestling, very entertaining, and you can just tell that he loves wrestling mm. and just really shines through anytime, to me anyway, anytime I see him. I just, yeah, yeah favorite wrestler of all time. Wow. I call it right now. Yeah. Wow. And Samoa Joe's like number three right now. <laughs> so Danielson, Macho, Joe, that's my top three. Four and five. Wow. It could be 10 That's different dudes. Rock, paper, scissors, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that is. Yeah. 
that's awesome uh yeah i i've never seen brian danielson wrestle uh so that's too bad for me but i (laughs) (laughs) it is too bad for you in all honesty man like there's yeah uh but i have uh yeah I I don't I don't know if I've ever seen Macho Man wrestle. I saw Andre what? wrestle. Oh, yeah, I don't think I ever have in real life. In, oh, in person. gotcha in person. Got yeah, it. Yeah, gosh, yeah. Got no, it. no. Right. Yeah, I thought you meant on TV. And I was like, how in oh, the hell no, have you ever seen even, Macho Man wrestle? No, no. Hey, listen. Even Daniel Bryanson, I've seen on TV. I'm oh. saying in real life, I've never seen. Got, him. got it. Him. Got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. I should have clarified that. Yeah, I've seen him wrestle on TV, and I've seen Macho Man wrestle on TV. I, I wish I would have seen those in real life. I've seen Andre in real life. Saw him wrestle. Well. It was just towards the end of his career. So I don't know if he was really wrestling a whole lot or more just being there, you know? So, yeah. Uh, cool. Good picks. Um, Phil, what do you have? <sighs> so, all time, I've got three that interchange depending on my given mood at any given time. For a large myriad of reasons, um, I'm just going to throw those three off the top of my head. Those three are going to be Raven, Jake Roberts, and Mick Foley. Hmm. And I would, if I got into my head, I'm probably going to answer Mick Foley to that question just because, again, entertaining as all, get out on the microphone, knew how to cut a promo. He, before he became Mick Foley, Mick Foley, and he was Cactus Jack, you believed he was batshit crazy. Like that man was an insane human being. And then you, when you watch what he did with his body throughout the course of his career, throughout him being obviously Cactus, Mankind, Mick Foley, Dude Love, like all the itinerations just did insane things with their body. But one of the things that a lot of people don't take into consideration, like I said earlier, were his promo skills and his ability to talk on the mic because he could sell you on something like very few other people could um, and then just put it all out there in the ring and was just a very, very entertaining human being. And for the love of God, he did it for all, each and every one of us that like just turned on the TV. Like there was no reason for him to do what he did, except for the fact that he knew he had to go above and beyond to create a name for himself. And that he most definitely did. Yeah. I have seen him wrestle in person. Me too. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. He's... Large handful of times. Yeah. Well, you've met him in person too, right? Like that I have. Yeah. <laughs> Find a chair for Phil. Yeah. I got a signed steel chair by him as well. Oh, somewhere. Don't know, don't know where know it is, but oh. it's somewhere around here. Wow. Um, favorite current wrestler? I'm going to have to say Samoa Joe. Oh, I'm wow. I'm right there with Brian Danielson. But again, Joe has got that entire Mick Foley thing going for him where his promos, you believe he wants to kill a person he's yeah. standing across the ring from. And then he gets in the ring and he looks like he's killing the person that he's across the ring from. Like everything that Joe does is super believable. He's very well spoken and he just carries himself like just a badass Samoan beast. And I love him for it. And it's he entertains me each and every time that he steps foot in the ring or backstage with Mike in his hand. Like I love Samoa Joe. Mm. Another person that you've met. I've met Joe. Yeah. Yeah. My car smells like pickles. <laughs> yeah. Your car smells like pickles. <laughs> Uh, good picks. I thought you were gonna say Roman Reigns for your favorite. <laughs> I love Roman. Don't get yeah. me wrong, yeah. but I yeah. half of that is just making fun of the people that are diehard Cody fans. But I do appreciate and respect what Roman has done in the ring and continues to do in the ring. Yeah. Nice. He's really like that's a guy. That I was like, uh, you know, when he was he, <clears throat> hated him. They hated him too. They were like force feeding <laughs> him down your throat, yep. and he wasn't being yeah. himself. At least he didn't nope. come off as himself. And uh, he's turned it around. He's, he's, he's good. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, for me, favorite wrestler of all time, uh, I would just say Triple H. Triple I have my money on Coco Beware, Roger. <laughs> I, hey, listen, I love Coco Beware. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and I also love Jake the Snake. I, like, I, every time I play a wrestling game, I always make sure Jake the Snake gets a title shot and then cheats and gets him a title shot somehow. Right. Absolutely. Like, uh, I make sure that he gets a title, but Triple H happens to be my favorite wrestler. I even, you know, whether he plays a face or a heel, I've always loved him. Uh, I just think that, uh, I, you know, again, I think part of it is just the believability, but also just like the goofy antics that he's done. And, and the fact that what he's doing with WWE right now is, uh, unbelievable. Like top notch. Yeah, he is. And, and, you know, I don't know if you guys saw the press conference with him, but somebody said, this is the Triple H era. And he's like, it's not my era. It's our era. This is yeah. our era. Like, he's like, I, I, 
I don't, you know, it's like, I appreciate the fact that people say that, but this is a team act thing. And, and I think that's what makes him special is because he thinks, you know, like, because he thinks like a wrestler and, and just, you can tell just l- looking at the wrestler and all the pictures and all the things like, is there's something different there and there's something special with that. Absolutely. Um, and it's awesome. And just to hear him talk about the wrestlers and like how much he respects them and like talks about Bailey and he talks about, you know, Cody and all the work that they put into this. Right. It's amazing. It's, it's, you know, I don't know. I just, he has a passion for it. And he's, mm-hmm. you know, and the other thing is like just how, uh, you know, he, he, he was in a time where, you know, the attitude area where there's a lot of drinking and drugs and, things going on and he didn't do all that stuff not that not that i'm like i'm not saying like i'm not trying to be like oh prude but just amazing that he was able to be like no i'm not i'm not doing that uh and he also went through his own health scares too like and and you know bounce back from that too so um so he's my favorite wrestler of all time my favorite current wrestler it's just Rollins. for the oh, record, yeah. you're not going to hear either Lucy or myself say a bad thing about Triple H or what he's contributed to the business or what he did in the ring even when he was active. Like, yeah, we've both been huge Triple H. I say this because listeners, for those that don't know, Lucio and myself go back 28 ish years at this point, and we've yeah. been attending wrestling shows almost nonstop the entire time. But like, you're not going to hear a bad word of our, out of our mouths about Triple H. So, a lot of respect for him. Yep. Yeah. And I have seen him wrestle several times oh, yeah. in person. Mm-hmm. So uh, my favorite current wrestler happens to be Seth Rollins. Uh, down. Yeah. They, he is such a workhorse, that guy. And the persona, only he could walk out to WrestleMania with whatever <laughs> he was wearing. I would tell you. Which time? <laughs> night one or night two? Night one, I called the pirate outfit. Night two was the Mardi Gras outfit. Yeah, the Mardi Gras outfit. The Mardi Gras outfit was really, what was that? But, <laughs> uh, but I, it, you know, and I know, uh, Phil, you've met Seth Rollins. Uh, I, I've hung out with him once, I believe, maybe twice. Yeah. Throughout the course he, of history. He just seems also like a decent human being as well, you know? So I don't know. I did those are my two picks for uh, my favorite wrestlers right now. So he's a lot of fun and lays it all out there as well. He doesn't take a night off. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was really sad. I mean, I knew he wasn't going to win. I knew he was going to lose to McIntyre. And I knew priest was going to cash in. Um, but I was also still sad that Seth uh, is no longer the champion. But we should probably petition for him to finish his story. <laughs> yeah, we should. Finish your story, Seth. <laughs> finish your story. He doesn't need the belt, though. Like, that guy can put uh, yeah. him in anything and it'll yep. be interesting. So, And he's going to make that's whoever true. he's working with look like a million and a half yeah. dollars. Yeah, that's true, too. Like... Yeah, he yeah. And, you know, that's the thing like him. And we said this la- or last week or the week before. I'm not sure. Maybe this is off the air. Uh, you know, him and like him and, and people like Gunther, like they don't look over the top, like ripped. Right. Yeah. Like, but man, the strength that they have and the, the ability to do what they're doing is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Um. So, yeah. Uh, cool. Well, thanks for indulging in that icebreaker with me. I appreciate that. Uh, let's talk about games that are coming out next week. So these are the games that are coming out, uh, for April the 14th, which really knows games coming out on that Sunday, but we'll talk about it anyway through the 20th. And, uh, here are the games. So the first one that's coming out is Dave the Diver. That's coming out on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. So you might be like, wait a minute, that game is already out. Well, it is, but it's coming out on PlayStation now. Uh, that's coming out on April 16th. Uh, another game that is already out is Grounded. That's coming out on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and Switch on the 16th of April. Here's a new one that's new. Uh, that's coming out. Is, uh, the new one that's new? I like the new that. one that's new. Uh, <laughs> Harold Halibut, Halibut. Halibut? I think it's Halibut. Uh, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and X, and please see, play, uh, PC. Oh my God. Uh, that's on the 16th of April. Uh, another game that's already out, but it's coming to PlayStation is Planet of Lana, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and. I Switch. didn't realize that was only Xbox at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
Welcome That's aboard, awesome. PlayStation owners. Here, finally, get to play some good games. <laughs> <Name> some games. <laughs> Uh, that's coming out on the 16th, uh, Rose and Camellia collection. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's not coming out on the 16th, uh, Reigns Beyond. Uh, I don't know if you've ever played any of the Reigns. Either of you played any of the Reigns games? No, I'm just uh, assuming it's a tale of what happens to Roman Reigns after he just lost the title. Yes, it is. It's beyond WrestleMania. Uh, uh, so that's coming out on the 17th. That's coming out on the Switch and the PC. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 Rise plus of the- three minus two times twelve. <laughs> <laughs> the Rising Tide PlayStation Five on the 18th of April, and then no re- no rest for the wicked on PC for on the 18th of April. Uh, the Reigns Reigns uh, is a card game. It's kind of cool. Uh, you uh, you get to select two different cards and you have three different stats that you're trying to keep track of, uh, at least in the base game. It's the, the money, uh, the religion and science, I think is the third one. And so you have all these advisors coming to you and they say like, Oh, we need to do this. And based on how you answer, one of those stats are going to go up or down. And you try to control, like try to control those, keep them even keel because if it goes too high or too low on you and one of those stats, you'll be overthrown and your reign ends, and then your child's reign takes over, and you try to just last as long as you can. Um, I think Reigns Beyond takes place in space, maybe? I think? Or in the future? I'm not quite sure. But uh, it's it's a fun game. It's a, I mean, I played it on mobile. Uh, it's a fun game, just to, like when I'm sitting in the airport and I'm waiting for my flight. It's like kind of just a fun game to play. So That kind of sounds like the card game version of Civilization. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because you have these. Yeah, it is funny, though, because it's weird stuff that will happen. Like all of a sudden this witch will show up. And if you don't answer a certain way, you're cursed and like everything is like backwards. So like all the words are all mixed up or the or they are backwards. And you have to try to figure out like what is going on here? It's really it's an interesting game. If you never played it, it's and it's not expensive. I think it's like a couple bucks to play these games. it's actually an interesting game. Like, yeah, and you can see how long you can last, right? I think I had one one person last eighteen years or something like that. It was that was the longest reign. So. It's a hell of a reign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. almost as long as uh, Roman Reigns' title <laughs> defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's going to be champ for two thousand days, so I'm sorry. God, That's true. I, oh, I, Jesus, I, I, will I mean, watching. I wondered, I wondered that are they going to now? It's like this is going to be the next like longest reign of a, of a champ. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. They uh, should make a wrestling version of Reigns. That's actually a really great idea. People, creators of Reigns, if you're listening, you should make a wrestling version of that game. Yeah. There is a wrestling long- CCG that came out moderately recently. I don't remember the name of it. It's called like Smack Talk, Smackdown, or some shit like that. I don't remember what it's called. It's something like that, but it sounded moderately intriguing. I heard about it on a podcast. I'd say it was here, but I don't listen to here when I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God damn! I don't remember where I where I heard about that, but it sounded like it was moderately intriguing. Like it, you, it walks you through like even doing like promo skills and stuff like that. Really? Like you got to lay cards to like cut promos and things like that. Oh my gosh! And I don't remember if it's physical or video game based. It's probably physical based, uh, but it sounded super intriguing. Yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, I've often thought that there should be like a rogue like card game for wrestling, although that'd be really hard to do because I don't know how you would. You know, every time you lose, you just start over. I think that'd be kind of what I mean. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, it's like if you tear your ACL or something, you got to go back <laughs> start from the start from the beginning. Uh, you go back to go back to like the indie league, right? NXT. You have to work your go way back up. To NXT. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. NXT. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So those are games. Any any games that kind of stick out to you at all? Either of you, Phil? I guess. Do you have your hand up? Or are you just stretching? I'm not sure what's going on. No, I just want to say that. Uh, speaking of inexpensive games that are finally coming over to other systems, Sony PlayStation owners, get ready for Vampire Survivors. Oh yeah, That's because you're finally getting it. Yeah, I think it's coming out in like the next couple of weeks or the next month or so. They're finally getting it. And if you don't own an Xbox, or lucky you if you don't own a Switch. You'll now have the opportunity to play Vampire Survivors, and uh, I highly recommend diving in that game. Give it a couple of runs, get comfortable, and go crazy with it. 
I, I second that. If you haven't played that game, check it out. It's Vampire Survivors is a good time. So, Lucio, here's the thing that Phil won't admit. Yeah. Uh, I was the one that got both him and Mike hooked on that game. Actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You played it once, and then Mike and I put hours upon hours of no, time. No, no, into no. It. So here's what happened. Here's what happened. <laughs> I, I I show up on the podcast as I do every week, right? I'm like the Seth Rollins of podcasts. That's not true. There was the one time that you will not let people listen to when Mike and I had our own show. We that took this true. damn that thing is over. That is... NWO theme song and everything, and nobody yeah, will ever see true. the light of day because Roger was embarrassed about how Mike and I did. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am, you know, doing, you know, the workhorse that I am, right? And I'm And I tell them about this game. I was like, guys, it's kind of like Gauntlet. Except, like, you just move around. It is amazing. And they both are like, I have no idea what you're talking about. That doesn't sound fun. And then the next week, they're like, you know what game I discovered? It's called Vampire Survivors. You walk around, and I'm like, you sons of bitches. Like, I actually told you guys about this last week. And Roger, I just got a text from Maury Povich, and he says he determined that is a lie. (laughs) He opens up the envelope and everything. (laughs) Turns out. That was not true. <laughs> that is actually very true. Uh, and, anyway, any any games I guess kind of stand out to either of you this next week? Well, I mean, you said Dave the Diver. I've heard of that game and I've seen like people stream that game and I've been curious yeah. about playing that one. But it, I, but it's on everything but PlayStation right now. <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. not on Xbox either. Oh, really? Oh, it's not? I don't think so, no. Otherwise, I probably would have, I would have bought it by now oh, just because I've heard so many good things about it. It's so it's, it's not on the Xbox. Yet. It's on Switch, Steam, yeah. and now it's coming to PlayStation. Huh. Yeah. that That's a game I, I would like to try, but, you know, I do like the, the Switch for things that are easy to play, like Bellatro is a good game to play. On. Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> yes. Have we decided that's the official pronunciation of that? Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole when I say that. No, I think you know that. I think I Is think it Bellatro? It's not Bellatro? No, I think it's Bellatro. I mean, every every podcast that I've heard is called a Bellatro. Okay, oh, Tiro. We'll go with Bellatro. Or Balotiro. Balotiro. <laughs> <laughs> That's bully. No, there's another one that was in the mix here <laughs> that I haven't heard. No, that game is fantastic. Uh, but Dave the Diver is very good. Yeah, I want uh, And I guess they're doing a Godzilla crossover, too, which is... Oh, and Dredge crossover, too. I was about to say, the crossover with Dredge. Yeah. Uh, Luce, have you played Dredge? No, but I've heard of that. Oh, game. you should really. Yeah, play that. it's a good game. Is that too. on uh, Xbox? That's my preferred. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I prefer that. Uh, Xbox. I don't, yeah. It's not on Game Pass, though, right? No, no, it's not. But I think it's only I think it's a $20 game. But I, yeah. in my opinion, it's well worth the 20 bucks. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. Sweet. Um, yeah, no, I, I would say if you get a chance, you should play Dave the Diver. It's very good. Yeah. Uh, Phil, any game for you? Uh. <laughs> no wow wow i don't know i don't remember what all you just named but none of them were things that like nothing that i haven't i'm, I'm i have to admit i don't really like ccgs but mm. from what you said about rain's rules or whatever the hell it was called that's kind of intriguing sounding just because it kind of sounds yeah. like civilization i love civilization so maybe yeah and i would say it's not like a it's not like a deck builder like i wouldn't say that it's more of like you get to select yes or no with a card like that's all you're really doing you just so you're playing it's, it's, it's actually more no it's actually more like swipe left and swipe right oh so it's tinder <laughs> it's kind of like tinder yeah yeah it's exactly right. what it is. i've yeah. never played that game either but it's a I game i'm intrigued either. by i don't know if i am actually i don't think i am I, uh, I don't know i kind of like being rejected so i think if i hopped on twitter I'd feel, <laughs> or tinder i'd feel really good about myself just because everybody'd be like hey, nope 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 let me tell you hop on twitter and you could also feel that same feeling Phil. so <laughs> i do that's why i don't post yeah too many yeah. people like my shit when i post so i quit doing it so that way i feel unliked <laughs> uh yeah i'd say i'd say for me like reigns beyond i think that sounds interesting i just because i enjoyed the first one uh the herald halibut uh sounds cool i uh, already have that downloaded cool. actually because it's on game pass so i've already pre-downloaded yeah. it oh, okay okay yeah that looks really cool too so uh hey it's kind of a light week the final, light, i mean the final, fantasy, the final fantasy is that dlc for that game? i don't know i don't know I think so. The, the rising only time? person that knows is, is Mikey Loose. Really? Nobody yeah, else has any idea. Mikey's the only person that knows. <laughs> That's true. I, I That's did, true. I did play a little bit of 16. Like, I, I probably oh. played the first, like, five to ten hours of that game. I liked what I played, yeah. but I fell off. 
Yeah. But yeah. Maybe I'll it's a long game. It is. Yeah. But it's fun. Yeah. I, I played the demo it, and it kind of hooked me the way the demo and they're like, I bought it, I got to buy this game now. And I did. Uh, yeah. It's, it's good. But I just didn't finish it. Well, now you can get the DLC. <laughs> Not finished that. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the backlog DLC. Oh, Welcome right. to the backlog. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, well, let's move on to games that we're playing. So, Lucio, since you are a guest, we're going to start with you again. What games are you currently playing? Well, I did mention Bellatro. Bellatro. Yeah. Uh, How many times have you beaten that? How many times have you beaten the so, game? I've beaten it on the Switch. I've beaten it five times. So I've unlocked Challenge Ooh, Mode there. Yeah. And then wow, on the Xbox, nice. I got four times. Wow. And then on Steam, and they bought the game three times. I, I think <laughs> uh, three times on Steam. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But okay. That game, yeah. I, it's like, I'll play it that, like last week when I was working. I was kind of playing while I was working because I could. And uh, wait, they don't listen to this podcast, do they? I don't care. Yeah, I was gonna say any the ten people that listen to this podcast, they don't work with you, right? <laughs> I hope not, but if they do, well, they know, and that's okay. Uh, we'll make it eleven now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, I played it here, and then I got done with my shift like at nine, and then I went upstairs and I saw my switch next to my bed, and I played for another couple hours. Like I probably shouldn't have, because I had to wake up at four thirty the next day. So yeah. it's been a lot of. Yeah, a lot of uh, nights where I probably play longer than I should. And then uh, I've been mixing in the show every little bit here and there. But that's a like annual thing. Um, and uh, what else have I been playing? I just started playing Tekken 8 tonight. Before the, oh! Before the show. Yeah. What do you think of that so far? Yeah. Uh, so I played the demo of that. And I want to play. Th- I didn't want to play through that story that they. Sh- that it's like you go to an arcade and do the mode thing. Okay. Uh, I'll probably play that on stream tomorrow night, actually. Uh, but nice. uh, I just did like arcade mode and it's Tekken, like 2024 Tekken. It looks colorful and nice. And yeah, I'm not a big fighting game guy. Uh, the nice thing is, though, if you hit like uh, there's a mode, if you hit LB while you're playing, it like simplifies controls. So yeah, all right. Oh, <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> you know, and I used to be a person that's like, oh, I got to know how to do the actual moves. I can't simplify stuff. And now that I'm a little older and don't have as much time to dedicate to games, like, Give me that simple stuff. So it makes it feel yeah. like you're good at it. Uh, I found out tonight that King's from Mexico. I didn't know that until tonight. He's the tiger one, right? Yeah, he's the guy with the mask. The, yeah, he's yeah. the luchador, yeah? The luchador, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was Mexican, though. I always assumed, like, Japanese, but apparently he's Mexico, according to his... Yeah, I thought he was Japanese, too. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah. Uh, and you're planning on streaming that tomorrow night, you said? Yes, sir. And where can people find yes. that stream? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Six, two X's, because I'm cool. <laughs> and that's on Twitch, people. That is on Twitch. <laughs> nine fifteen to nine thirty, depending on how technology goes for me here. But yeah, nice, nice. Uh, I when I was at PAX West, they had a big Tekken Eight uh, booth uh, set up, and so media gets to go on the floor an hour early uh, on the first day, and so they had all the characters dressed up. Are all the people dressed up? Are these people dressed up as the characters? Which I was just like, wow, that's like crazy. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, and we had, if you wanted, <laughs> they had, uh, I can show you after the show, but they had just a fanny pack that you can get from Tekken 8. But if you wanted that, you had to get your picture taken with the crew tag, you know, Tekken 8 on Twitter and then post that picture. Uh, so I did that and I got, I got the, I got the fanny pack. So oh, yeah, are you sending that to Mike or are you keeping it? The fanny pack? Yeah. I mean, you know, Mike likes the swag. That's true. It's full of just junk right now. I don't think he really <laughs> wants it right now. I'd have to clean it out. So Mike likes junk. Yeah. Not, I mean, it's just where like, is Mike this week, by the way? I don't actually know. I really don't know, actually. Do you? God, I was hoping you were going to make up a story. I absolutely know where no. he is. I pay oh, attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually forgot. Jesus, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> This is as bad as last week when I got all pissed off when you tried to give him the exact yeah, same game that I did the week before in the oh, episode yeah. that never will never air. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, it looks it looks cool. I loved Tekken when I was younger. Yeah. I loved uh, I loved the what Law I think was the one that had all the different martial arts moved right. Yeah, yeah he was sounds cool. right. I haven't played one since three. That's the one I played yeah. a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. 
Me too. I vaguely remember you and I working in the Funko warehouse playing that, like in the break room where the yep. NBA Jam machine and shit were too. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Right. <laughs> for good times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Anything else? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I, I downloaded Call of Duty again because I just had a season open up, but I, I, I'm terrible at that game. But I, I, That's I, Godzilla base too, isn't it? I guess. <laughs> Probably. I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I don't think it's did it. I don't think. I mean, if I remember correctly, they didn't do it very well. But yes, I think it is. Yeah, I downloaded it last time the Godzilla thing popped up too because I just really wanted yeah. to see Godzilla versus Kong, and it was actually kind of rad. But it, it well, reminded I thought me you said it wasn't that good. Uh, well, when you got two gigantic, I don't know how to pronounce Kaiju, Kaiju, Kaiju. Yeah, when you got two of those fighting in the background as you're fighting, it was kind of cool to see that happen. But I'm also absolute dog shit at Call of Duty, so that, like, it didn't really matter. Yeah, I just sat there and watched them fight, and then I'd die, and I'd respawn. I'd sit there and watch them fight, and then I'd get shot in the head, and I'd die, and I'd respawn. I'd continue to sit there and watch them fight because that's just what I did. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you got you got something out of it, man. I did. I could just watch the movie where I don't have to die while I'm watching the movie, but (laughs) it's way easier just to have it there. (laughs) That's true. That's true. Uh, Very cool. Uh, Phil, what have you been playing? I have not played the show all week. That's for damn sure. Uh, (laughs) That's a lie. That's definitely a lie. Maury Povich just emailed me about that one, too. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Uh, so yeah, I played that. I played a little bit more of Overwatch, of course, because that's what I do. Uh, I've also started into the Evil West Conquest, which was assigned to me last week. Yeah, and I would say I'm almost halfway through that game already. Holy I started crap. playing it today, and I I have thoughts about it. Should I save the thoughts for Mike, or should I just let him air now? Uh, I'll probably save it, Mike, because Mike is the one that gave you that game. Well, he's in prison in Iowa right now, so <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. He's bootlegging alcohol into Iowa because <laughs> Iowa is a dry state. It is not. It's that's, most definitely not a dry state. I was going to say, here's Maury Povich again with another <laughs> envelope saying that's a lie. I'll give quick thoughts on it, though. It yeah. is definitely... Um, Mike kind of compared it to Gears of War, and I wouldn't say it's like Gears of War. I would say it's more like Bulletstorm than Gears of War, for those that remember Bulletstorm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a little bit more janky, but still fun at the same time. It's Bulletstorm with vampires, and it's uh, it's decently, it's pretty well done. Uh, frame rate kind of drops from time to time, which is whatever. It, it I'd say it runs at 30 instead of 60 from what I can tell from it, just because it does look like it's a little bit sluggish. Gameplay is tight enough. It's a little confusing. Uh, it's not as easy as I would like it to be. There's a lot of melee combat. I don't use my gun very much, which is probably on me. But I guess if they're longer range than I do, uh, boss battles are cool. The graphics are pretty, pretty badass. Uh, story is I'm not paying attention to it in the slightest bit. I'm not going <laughs> to lie about that. <laughs> but I've enjoyed my time with it. I'm going to keep playing it. I'm guessing this is will be one of those games that I definitely wrap up just because it, it kind of scratches that itch for me. Mm. Lucio, you said that you've been playing it, too. Do you feel like do, have you paid attention to the story? Is it just kind of like, eh, I don't really care. No, I, I'm not a big story guy unless the story is okay. good. Uh, yeah. Which, you know, and, and there's there's a few games that do that well. But that one, it's just like, eh. The action's fun. The, the little yep. bit I played. I can see where it might get repetitive after a while. if it's Absolutely. It's set piece after set piece. Yeah. But it looks really mm-hmm. nice. I thought it looked really nice. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, it was. I had fun with it the little bit I played of it. Nice. Uh, cool. I do. I haven't downloaded it yet, so I need to do that. Uh, what about it you? is co op, so I mean, if you want to yeah, download it, I'll yeah. definitely co op it with you because yeah, I, I, I don't know how co op works in it, but whatever. you can play up to three people, right? I is it? I think it's only two because there's the main guy so. and the other dude with oh, the cowboy okay. hat. I Wait, they all have cowboy hats on, but maybe you're right. Maybe there's only two. Uh, Cool. What other games? Anything else? Anything else I should ask? I played a little bit more of the Lego Drive, Lego 2K Drive, oh, yeah, whatever yeah. that's called, oh, just because it's that's fun and mindless. It's fun. It really is. Like I spent a few more hours with it over the course of the last week, and I'm not complaining about my time with it at all. It's fun. It's mindless. It's a driving simulator. Not even a simulator. It's just a racing game. It, like, I, like I compared it to last week, it's like Forza, just because it's that open world. Go to your own thing. There's a couple of just random crazy missions. Some of which you can't do until you unlock certain things, which is not even annoying, but it gives you something to strive for, which I kind of enjoy. Uh, yeah, I think that's all that I've really played over the course of last week. Nice. Yeah, that's one game because it's on Game Pass, right? 
Most definitely, yeah. Yeah, that's one game I need to play yet. Uh, Your kids would like it too, just because yeah. it's pretty easy to pick up and play, and there's not too much of a challenge to it. Yeah, that's the reason I kind of don't want to play it because they'll just play it all the time. Then, <laughs> so that's that makes true. Sense. Yeah, they. My son's really into Minecraft right now, so like he's usually like, "Hey, can I play on the Xbox and play some Minecraft?" I will say one one way I can get him to do chores is bribe him by buying whatever little packs he wants for like five dollars bucks or whatever they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Can I?" And some of them are pretty cool. He got a D and D pack. He's like, "Can I get the D and D pack?" And I was like, "Well, if you do some chores, sure." So he, you know, had him, you know, pick up all the dog poop outside and. No, I'm just kidding. I'd make him do that. That would be terrible. That'd be the worst. That'd be the worst dad would make him do that. Right after all the snow melts, by yeah, the way. The go smell, pick up yeah, all the That's right. Food. That's right. It's like you got right after five months to go clean up. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll exactly. give you seven fifty this time instead of five. That's, that's Knock right. it out, Tiger. That's right. Uh but yeah, you know, he he got the he got the Dungeon Dragons one, and that's pretty cool because uh it has an adventure that you can play through which is pretty cool like it okay. kind of you get to create your character first and then and then i think that you get to uh then just like use the assets and build your own stuff and your own adventures they, he hasn't really done that uh him and my oldest now are really into they also got an airport one so you can just fly planes around and i will tell you uh that is not in their future Flying in the future, <laughs> like the sun landed in an ocean, and he couldn't get it out of the. He couldn't get the the plane out of the ocean. And I was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I don't know. I kick." And then he just let it sink, and I was like, "Well, okay." Um, so that is that is not in their future. Uh, <laughs> uh, for me, uh, what have I been playing? So, so speaking of playing games with my son, so we sat down and we played Soul for a uh, Soul Forge Fusion. Uh, I think I mentioned this before. It's a card That's collectible That's a CCG, game. yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's a CCG. Which is cool about this game is you buy... Oh, shoot, I don't have any on me. You buy you buy the... the You can buy a deck, and each deck is unique. There's like 1,500 or 15,000 cards. Holy uh, in hell, this, that's huge. It, that's out right now. Uh, yeah, and then each deck is like, you know, mixed together, and each deck is so different. And you scan it with with your it's a it has a QR code on the like each deck has like a main character like has like a a, a forge bearer I think that they call them and uh, you scan that character and then it scans your whole deck into online uh, and you so you create an account online and it saves all your cards online so now you can go and play uh, against other people or you can play uh, a campaign online like an actual like full-fledged roguelike campaign online uh with your deck it's amazing so we played it's kind of fun because you take two different decks you forge them together so you might have like a fire deck you know and a forest deck you can mix that together you can mix anything you want together really um and uh so my son and i played that and it was really fun and he he you know the fun part about this card game too is every time you play a card you level up that card so there's a level up one two and three in the deck and then you take the next level and you put it into uh, into your discard and the next time that you pull from your discard you're pulling from that level up card uh and you discard then the are you a banish i guess basically it's not in your deck anymore the lower card the lord the lower tier card and my son every time he leveled up a card he's like oh wait until you face this card dad oh wait until you face this card and uh you know he was really he was really into it it was really fun uh, even though i was kind of kicking his butt but it was still fun it was still fun to see him uh enjoy that uh so that's that's been really fun uh and then the other game that i've been playing in my reviews on uh, gamerheadspodcast.com is uh let's revolution so uh <laughs> so it is a it is a puzzle a roguelike game uh I'm assuming you both have played Minesweeper at some point right, oh, yeah. in your life. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Minesweeper, but good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you are taking on this King and every, so there's like, I don't know, six, seven different levels that you're playing through. The King hides in these tiles. Uh, so lo- the, there's different maps that are all procedurally generated maps and they're all just tiles that are flipped over. And you take a character and you have to move around the tiles and find the king and uncover him. And then he goes to the next map and then you have to chase him. Uh, the, the, the challenge is that there's road pieces on this map. And on the road, there may be enemies hiding in underneath those tiles. And if you run into an enemy, 
uh, it takes a piece of uh, your health away from you. Uh, so the way that you can avoid that, each there's six different characters, so each one operates a little bit differently. Um, but the character that you start with is a warrior, uh, and they can do special attacks. Like the warrior can do this uh, sweeping roundhouse. So uh, if you're like land on a spot that you know is surrounded by roads, and the way you know that is because like Minesweeper, they'll have a little number in the corner telling you how many roads are adjacent to uh, to that piece that you're on. So let's say you're on a, a six, right? A tile that has a six on it. Well, then you want to do the, my, the sweep around all those pieces because chances are there's probably an enemy hiding on one of those roads, right? Um, it does take energy, though, then to do those moves, and then you have to do certain things to regain the energy. For the warrior, it means you have to move to safe spaces and uncover safe spaces. Uh, and then once you uncover the king, then you get to move on to the next level and the next level, level, next level, until you finally get to where the king's like, all right, I'm done, I'm done riding, I'm going to fight you. Uh, and they're not hidden anymore, and you have to attack the king. Um, but the whole time, every time you hit the king, he drops a bomb and, you know, obviously you have to, he goes around the whole map you, and the map is bigger and you try to get to him, uh, in the process, you are running into other enemies. Uh, the other thing I've mentioned, failed to mention is that enemies are also on a timer. So if you don't beat the enemy before their timer goes off, they also attack you again. So is if it you a have turn-based a, timer or a time-based timer? Yeah, no, turn-based. Okay. So every, every, every move that you make, every move you make. Every breath you Every take, breath you take. <laughs> yeah, they'll be attacking you. Uh, Bastards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's cool. And the animation is done by the studio, Buck Studio, which did the Spider-Man uh, Into the Spider-Verse movies. Oh, wow. um, right on. So the animation is really, really crisp and really good. I gave it an A+. Plus. This game is so good. Um, and where's that review at, Roger? GamerHeadsPodcast.com. Uh, I I had the chance to talk. They won one of our Gamerheads uh, podcast Best of Packs East awards this this last year of 2024, and I had a chance to talk to the developers, and I asked them. You know, I like to find out like how long it takes or what the development cycle looks like, right? And like you know, a lot of games it, it's several years, right? Because mm-hmm. a game is takes a while to make. They said 18 months. I said 18 that's months. Not bad. Holy hell, yeah. that's quick. Yeah. yeah, they said the the crazy thing is when you're working with a animation studio and you ask for assets they said most times we're expecting it like several months from there it was like several days and they're like here you go and they're like what and they said they're just so used to turning out animation so fast working in the animation studio that that turnaround was so fast and they said that just made uh production move so quickly so it's impressive yeah it's uh, it just came to consoles, so it's on Xbox, it's on uh, Switch, uh, it's on PC, it's also on PC on Steam, and it's also on PlayStation as well. So it's called Let's Exclamation Point Revolution Exclamation Point. Um, the other fun thing I'll just mention: whoever runs their social media is hilarious. So it's it's supposed to be the King of Beatem. That's the that's the kingdom that you're fighting against. You spell Beatem. B e e d o m b d o m. Oh, okay. B-dum. I was thinking like B-E-A-T. Oh, yeah. Or no. E-M or U-M. Yeah, whichever. Yeah. And uh, and when I would post things like, oh, check out my preview of of uh, of the game from PAX, they would write back, uh, do not check this out. Like, how dare you, you, you know, you uh, insult me. Like, <laughs> and like, do not take down your king. Like, I thought it was so brilliant. Did they call so you funny. an imbecile? Something, uh, but uh, like bigger words. Imbecile is a great word. It, bigger words than that. There they, is no bigger word than. Well, I don't Roger. know. Uh, <laughs> but the fun one when I did, I would, you know, because I post this both myself and as gamer heads, and they said something like, "Even gamer heads will roll if you if you try to play this game." And I thought Damn. that was really fun. Yeah, I thought that was fun that they used gamer heads in their response. I thought that was great. That was fun. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, that's yeah that's out now, uh, just released. So go check it out. That's that's mainly really what I've been playing this week. That's uh, kind of a light week, but uh, this weekend I have a lot of plans to play a lot more games. So, what do you plan on playing? Yeah. Uh, so this weekend, Biomorph. I plan to finish that game so I can finish my review for that game, and uh, and then there's a couple other games that I can't really talk about but I'm looking forward to playing incognito stuff. Got it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. 
well, that's that's what I have for the show. Uh, before we head out, Lucio, why don't you tell people how they can find you on social media and where they can find your stream as well? Yeah, so social media, I mostly post under King Dodger seventy eight. That's like Dodger D O D G E R seventy eight. Because you're because you're a Brewers fan, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I have a couple of friends that are Brewers fans, so I like okay. you know I'll follow them, and if they do good, it's like yeah, good for you guys. Uh, <laughs> for Latino <laughs> listeners, that's King Doyer seventy eight. <laughs> but yeah, Dodgers fan and a Kings a Kings hockey fan. That's how that because when I joined oh. Twitter, God, years and years ago, over a decade ago, I think now. I'm like, ah, what should I name myself? I'm like, ah, I like the Kings, like that. Ah, King Dodger 78. Okay. So, nice. yeah. So you can, like, that's where I tweet my normal everyday stupid stuff, which I don't do that much anymore anyway. And then my streams on uh, Friday night six, two X's. Two X's. Because <laughs> you're cool. Because I'm <laughs> straight edge, which is cool. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I'll, I'm there on Friday nights on Twitch, 9.15 to 9.30 Central, depending on, you know, I'm not very punctual when it comes to that. But <laughs> I'll be on eventually. But you can also have a Twitter handle with the show's name, too. So Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, Phil, how can people find you on social media? Uh, you're, uh, you don't have no chance of trying to get in touch with me on social media, but being out 23 is where I talk about all my nerd shit. I do have an alternate Twitter handle, which you got to find on your own because, uh, I say more controversial things there. That's a lie. <laughs> I don't say anything there either. I just speak my mind on certain things sometimes. Uh, yeah, you guys don't need to find that. <laughs> yeah. Being out 23, find me there or be square. <laughs> okay. What do you expect from me, Roger? You I know, know this. You've been dealing with me for years at this point. <laughs> no, that's true. You know you're not going to get a straight answer from me. I'm just going to beat around the bush on some bullshit. That's true. Uh, listeners, you can follow us on Twitter at GamerHeadsPod. You can also go to our website at GamerHeadsPodcast.com. You can find us on Blue Sky, on Threads, on Instagram at GamerHeadsPodcast. Uh we are on YouTube as well at Gamer Has Podcast. We're on Twitch at Gamer Has Podcast. Oh my gosh, we're lot, Gamer Has Podcast is everything. Uh, and then you can find me personally at Nintendo Raj. I'm on Twitch, so you can follow me. Uh, that's about it. You say Twitch or Twitter, or do you mean both? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Twitter, not Twitch. I used to have my own Twitch account, but then I just stuck with my Gamer Heads one. So because you and Gamer Heads are one and the same. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, if you see stuff being posted by gamer heads, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, that's me. That's... Unless I somehow get the password and I that's take true. it over and that's then true. look out world. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, well, Lucio, thank you so much for joining us. It was really fun. I hope that you had a good time and that you come back and join us again. Oh, absolutely. 100%. We'll be happy to be back. And thank you for having me again. It was, it was awesome. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Phil, thank you so much for joining us this week. I am so stoked to be here. I love being here. There's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> Why did Boris just show up? Why did Boris Porsche just show up again <laughs> with another envelope? Why is he here again? Because he's going to tell you that I'm stating the truth. Oh, okay. Uh, and listeners, thank you so much for giving us a listen. If you like what you hear, leave us a review. We want to hear what you have to say about the show. Also, follow Lucio on Twitch and Twitter. Follow his streams. Give them some love. I'll put the links in the show notes for that as well. Uh, until next week, everyone, stay safe and game on. And I'll talk to you then. Bye. Lewis, you got to say something, man. I closed this bitch out. You got to say <laughs> bye. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I, I got it. You got me on the spot there. I wasn't prepared. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's all right. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Girl, you stole my spot. <laughs>